So a lot of people want their fiddle leaf figs to branch, to grow more branches, to get bushier and not just as tall and skinny, to give them that tree-like or standard form. And I really love the look of a tree-like fiddle leaf fig. And so I think it's important to learn how to get to your plant to branch. And I think that pruning is the easiest way. So what I mean by pruning is I mean just cutting off the new growth to get your plant to produce a branch at the node beneath that. So what's interesting about plants is they have a property called apical dominance. And what that means is they put all of their energy towards the newest growth. If you remove that growth, they put all of their energy to the node right below that growth. So for apical dominance, this is the reason if you've ever grown basil that you cut off or you pinch off the flowers of your basil plant to keep it producing basil. If you let it go to seed or if you let it flower, it will actually stop producing the leaves of the basil. Same is true for fiddle leaf figs. You wanna pinch off the new growth to get it to branch and to get it to, it to focus its energy on the leaf nodes below the pruning. And so what I'll show you on this fiddle leaf fig is that we actually have an area where I have cut a branch. So this plant was given to me in a used to be just one trunk, one stem of a fiddle leaf fig. So what I did is I cut it and then it branched out of the node beneath that cut to two branches. And now it's a much, much nicer look. So you can see it's growing into a tree shape and eventually when it gets very tall, I'll do that again and it will have multiple branches and it'll look like a tree instead of just a tall skinny stalk. And so you can see that when I made this cut here, the node beneath it branched two different branches. And so this was really easy to do. It took me two seconds. You just take a pair of shears, cut at a 45 degree angle right above the node. So for pruning, the first thing that you wanna do is you just wanna decide where you want your plant to branch and how much you wanna prune. Most of the time when people prune, they also are gonna propagate the cuttings. You'll wanna watch my video on propagation to figure out exactly where's the best place to cut to give you the most chance of success with your cuttings. Basically, you take the cuttings that you remove from your plant, you put them in water with a little bit of a propagation promoter, and they will bloom into new fiddle leaf fig plants. You'll want to think about how much you want to cut off for your propagation and also where you want the new branches to form. So what I did here is I located a node and a node is just where your leaf meets your plant. And so you can see a kind of a raised ring around your fiddle leaf fig or a spot where a leaf used to be. That's the node. Between the nodes is the smooth space called the internodal space. You just want to make a cut right in the internodal space right above a node. That tells your plant to put put all of the energy into the node. Within the node, there is what's called dormant leaf buds. These are leaf buds that could have formed into a leaf before, but they didn't and they're ready to go. And so once they get those hormones and that energy, they will actually sprout into new branches. And so that's all you have to do. You just simply cut right above a node and then keep your plant healthy, keep watering it, keep fertilizing it. You can use a little of our propagation promoter solution to dab onto the actual injury or the actual cut and that will tell your plant to put out new branches. I really think this is the easiest way to get your plant to branch. I recommend that you give it a try and then you can always propagate the cuttings and see what happens. Usually it takes between two and four weeks to start those new leaf buds coming out. You'll see little bumps at first and then you'll see little Little shoots and then you'll see multiple leaves forming into a branch and so it's a really really cool way to shape your plant and to really leave your personality or your aesthetic mark on your plant and to grow it up into something beautiful so I recommend giving it a try there's two other methods to get your plants to branch and so I'll talk about those in later videos so please if this video is helpful subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one bye